step one of the creative step. process is to screw up. Is to do it twice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why do it once when you can screw it up and do it twice? And get it all on video. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, everybody? You know me, but you don't know her. You don't know me, unfortunately. So I'm Gabby Rezix, I'm a digital marketer and I also have my own personal brand where I empower you to live your best life and Juan just happens to be a creative genius, so I'm pretty excited to collab, do all the things. What are we gonna do? So we're gonna make her float. Yo, we'll do, yo, we'll do, yo, we'll do. Yo, we'll do. A lot of people have been asking about my levitation photos and so we're gonna take you through that creative process to show you exactly how I get it. Um, it's it's gonna be kind of messed up because I really <laughs> don't have like a great process, but you yeah. kind of get to see the scatterbrain like behind the scenes of the scatterbrain. Which is the process. It's the Looks process. like that. Yeah. 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 You ready? I'm, I mean, I guess. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So first we've got, got some pretty cool lighting up here. So I really want to accentuate, like make that dramatic yep. look coming down. So we've got her. Here. The main thing you want to make sure like for her feet to point down. So that way when you're editing and you're kind of taking away that uh, stool, uh, behind her foot, it's a little bit easier because her toe is kind of like covering up the back so when you remove it. But first what we'll do is I'll get some shots of her sitting like this, some other poses, and then I'll have her move and I'll take a photo just of this area. But the main thing is, so when I first get her set down here, uh, I put it on autofocus so it focuses on her and then as soon as it focuses on her, I put it on manual so that way it doesn't change. I also make sure that I put the white balance. I actually set it because in between shots, that white balance, if you have on an auto, it can change. So I try to make sure that it's the same color each time to make it easier when I put the frames together. So yeah, that's the technical nerdy part. That's a lot of nerdy stuff all at once, but it's, it's the good stuff. The good stuff. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I was born ready. Let's do it. One thing I didn't tell you is obviously you want that camera to sit as still as possible. So I use a remote control. Yeah, just like your TV. Yeah. Except for your camera. So it stays still. Yeah. Yeah. Still. Still. Shot. Still. <laughs> so we're going to move on to another type of shot. What, what are we doing now? We're, we're going to do the push up shot. Okay. Yeah. Why are we doing push-ups? Push because I love push-ups. I like doing push-ups. It's kind of my thing. So, you know, I asked Juan, can we, can I like do a push-up while floating? And he said, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do your push-up floating. Floating push-up. Yeah. Here we go. much better. better. Why do I look so small? <laughs> yeah, my struggle is always like look up there. And so yeah, people I know. are like, why are you looking over I know. the know. I just did that and I yeah. was like, mm, that's that's what we're looking at the the whatever this thing is yeah. called, the camera. Well, we just finished a couple levitation photos. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna clone her a few times. Our administration believes that there are loopholes that could allow the cloning of human beings if such if the technology were developed. 
How many times do we want to? Somewhere pe- between four to seven. Four to seven. I think that would be helpful to have that many of me on a daily basis. So. Yeah. So we're gonna do four to seven. Yeah. Our. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I get to go edit. <laughs> it's the fun stuff. It's the fun stuff. In front of the screen. We've got some pretty good shots. Uh, so we've got the levitation mm-hmm. in the chair, sitting, mm-hmm. laying, and then like your push up. Well, we get flying like oh, some, yeah, that's Superman. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that one hurt my back. That hurt your back a yeah. little bit. Mm-hmm. My back. We got a few extra shots in, but before you leave, you Mm -hmm. want to tell the people where they can find you? Yes. Okay, so shameless plug. Thanks to Juan for letting me do this. I have a YouTube channel, at Gabriella Resics. That's G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-A-R-E-Z-E-X. Gabriella Resics. At YouTube for all the lifestyle content, motivation, inspiration. My plug has officially ended. The cool thing is, like I, I didn't do a lot of vlogging, um, but then I watched one of her videos, which I'll put up here there. so you guys can watch it. Uh-huh. But it was just a video that just said, okay. if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want to vlog, just do it. And so yeah. that's what got me to start to do the unboxings and reviews and actually get in front of the camera. Yep. So that's why I brought her. My favorite thing is, I think so many people wait to do something until it can be perfect. And a lot of us, like we have it in us, but we just don't take messy action, is what I like to call it. Like at the beginning, it's never gonna be perfect, but you have to start it, and then eventually it's gonna become perfect. Because I'm sure there's people that watch your videos or your unboxing, they're like, wow, like I wanna be that good. And to you, it's like, wow, I'm not that good. Like I'm really not great, but like you just, have to start. If you have a thing that you want to start, then you start it and you get good over time. So just just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do the editing thing. Okay, great. All right. Do the editing thing. Great. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for yeah. all of it. <laughs>